hello guys so uh, today I am going to show you how you can convert your physical machine into the VM machine and this step is same for Windows 8 Windows 10 server 2008 server 2012 so it will be same for all the operating system so, so to do that let's go and check the uh, C drive and D drive spaces so now you can see this is uh, uh, and this is my external drive so which is directly connected to my computer you can see that okay so this is the external drive okay now so what I am going to do is I am going to convert uh, this two drives into a VHDX format and so to do that you have to just go to the browser and type okay just click not now and here you can type D I S K to V H T. So here uh, you can see this is the first link uh, you will get from the Microsoft. Just go there and download this this to V H D uh, tool. So I think I have already downloaded. Let's go to my download. Yeah, it is downloaded already here. So I'm just going here. So it is already extracted. So let's go inside that. Now you have to run this file. Right click, run as administrator. Now you can see all the drive on my computer are listed here. So now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make the exact copy of my this computer to the new computer or to the uh, VM server. So uh, this is my external drive, so this is not required. So, okay, so I'm just selecting all the drive which I want to uh, move it to my uh, virtual image. So these two are system files, uh, system drives, and it is C drive and D drive. Okay, and here, this is the location where you want to save the file. So I'm just going here to it. So this is the location I want to uh, save my file and click save now, okay physical to vhdk conversion so let's start it now so now you can see uh, it is uh, starting okay let's wait okay it is starting now okay so the process is started now and i believe it will take some time so i'm going to pause the video and once it is done I'll continue the video okay guys so uh, I was able to convert the disk into VHDX format if you want to see the extension of this file you can just click on view and do file extension so now you can see this file is in VHDX format but it cannot be directly uh, readable by your VMware workstation Zen server or virtual box so in order to uh, make it readable for uh, this uh, servers you have to convert this image into uh, vmdk format so i have uh, one conversion tool which is uh, star wine converter so i have already downloaded it if you want to download you can just go to their website and download from there so i'm going to just double click on this uh, software click run so now here uh, you have to accept the agreement click next 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 and install so it will install very quickly and here we go finish okay so now you can see i have a shortcut on my desktop i'm just going to double click on this shortcut so now it is going to open now you can see uh, it will open up a wizard where you have to select the source file and destination file so just select next since i have uh, created this image on my local drive so i'll just select source image location as a local file click next now it will ask for the path click here and browse that go to this pc and under the pc you can find and here my images just click open now 
here you can see uh, the total size of this file is 168 GB so uh, it is going to convert this VHDX image into VMDK so you can just select the first option and you can read the format description so here you have so many options so this time we are going with VMware global image and select next now I am uh, selecting my virtual disk type as IDE and just select next now it is asking the location where you want to uh, convert the file uh, you cannot hear now it is going to convert in VMDK format so now you can see uh, the total size I have available on my external drive is 356 GB and this is the original size will become after the conversion so now click next so now it is going to take some time I am going to pause the video again and once it is done we'll continue okay guys so conversion is uh, done and now you can see I have a VMDK file over here generally uh, when you convert you will have a single file but I converted in uh, some different format so that is what I got two files so here I'm going to use this VMDK file to uh, upload in uh, this end server or uh, the virtual server so here you can see now I'm going to open my virtual server so I'm using virtual box over here so to add the VMDK file you have to click on new give the name of the VM image uh, if it is Windows 8 you can type Windows 8 if you have Windows 10 you can type Windows 10 so here I am going to use Windows 10 and it will by default select Windows 10 so it is by default option now you can just click next here I am giving just 2 GB of RAM for this virtual uh, image click next so this is very important here you have to select uh, the VMDK file we have converted so I'm going to select this one and click open and then you can just click on create now you can see it is created here now let's start the VM okay it is switching on okay so first time it takes time okay so here we go 